Welcome to the office. Welcome. Welcome. Talk. Yeah. Nice Thanks. to meet you. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? What's going on with you? So, I've had a lot of lower on the left side, like a lot of pain in the lower left side of my back. Okay. Um, it has good weeks and bad weeks, um, but it's just become like increasingly bad where it's all the time, at least like a dull thudding pain almost in every step. And then some like days, this? like there's something hard in there. Okay. You know, that like, it's not like a, not like a grab, but like there's something in there that like, I can feel almost like something stuck. And is it restricting your movement? Yeah. And it hurts? Yes. Okay, got it. Um, How long have you had that? How long have you had that? That's been going since like last Dece December of almost like 2020 at this point. What happened? Um, or I guess January of 2021, that two month there. Okay. That was when I had for the third time like a very similar fall where I fell into a seated position and like everything in my spine crunched down and my neck snapped back. And okay. that's, I've had that same type of fall, just seated position, everything crunching and then the neck, like that was the third time. And that was the one where like everything really got. Do I wanna ask what it was? Not just like, that was just ice. Ice? Yeah, like just walking. Oh, you're coming high, from like, up north, that's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just slipped on ice, like legs went straight out right onto my pelvis. Okay, and that's just like on the sidewalk outside? Yeah. Just on the asphalt. Asphalt? Okay. Yeah. So number one complaint is low back to that left side. Yes. Started a couple of years ago. You've had a couple of good falls on your tailbone. So you already know where we're probably going to start with you. I would hope so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Um, have you had chiropractic care before? I have. Yeah. Okay. And um, so why, I mean, you have some decent stuff up there. What's, are we reevaluating something like? I just haven't really felt like kind of who I just, what I've experienced and everything. I feel like it's just been a lot of mobilizing and just okay. like moving things rather than like, I have never been told like, this is the exact problem. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to fix it. Understood. You know, okay. it's just been like, I, you know, this is what it looks like, you know, looking at it, you know, we just need to mobilize it. Like it's the same adjustment every single day, you know, and like, that's you know, okay. I, yes. It's okay to be the same adjustment. But when I go back in and I say, like, I'm not feeling any improvement, Yes. it's just like, okay, well, we're going to stay consistent with this, and eventually you will, and that just doesn't really seem to happen okay. necessarily. Using a meter? Using um, a meter and all that? Um, like, mm, kind of, yeah. Okay. What's number two? Number two would be the upper left of my neck. Upper left neck. And that's been going since probably my freshman year of high school. Okay. Um, I had a broken jaw issue where someone ran into me from the left side and that like completely knocked me unconscious and it's always been like a little just a snag and like general neck pain there but then with those falls that's just progressively gotten worse. Jaw and neck? Um, this side's really tight but then the neck like this is the front here on the right yeah. but then the back on the left. Got it. Okay. We'll explain all that to you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Number three? Number three, under the right shoulder blade. Under the right shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. So most of your stuff, though, is left-sided. So that's not entirely true. Okay, so talk to me. It almost, so it kind of zigzags. Okay. It goes right ankle, right knee, left hip. It's, on, it's almost, I feel like I'm dragging my right leg a little bit. Like my left leg's doing all the work. Okay. And my right leg's just kind of dragging along. Okay. And I, like, not a foot drop. No. But just, no, it's just dragging, just, it's weaker. Yes, and it's almost like I try and pick it up, but it's the left side that's doing the work, and that's where the hip is. Like when I try and move my right, it's like that left hip is feels like it's doing it. Correct. Then underneath my right shoulder, like it goes back over to the right side underneath my shoulder blade. Yep. Then okay. back up to the top of the left and up in the neck. But the way your spine looks. Cool. All right. All so right. hopefully we should be able to figure that part out. Right. Um, anything going on in the ankles or the wrists? Um, the ankle, <clears throat> the right ankles just feels like it's locked. Like it, it does, just doesn't have the mobility and there's a lot of like, when I go internal, it, there's a lot of pain, like sharp pain in here and like right into the kind of And what he's there. referring to here is the talus, the ankle and the arch, the navicular bone. Okay. Did you have an ankle sprain by chance? I've had a few. Um, what I'd like to do is let's go over your x-rays first. I need you to understand what's going on first. Great. I can then uh, talk about what's correctable and what's manageable. 
chart. This is your side profile. On your side profile, we're going to do we're going to look at your posture first overall, and we're going to run the plumb line or the arrow from your L5. And this should bisect where? C7 and C2. The first thing I need you to see on this is it's pretty clear that your upper body sits behind your foundation. And because of that, all these muscles in the shoulder and up here are working overtime. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, the first thing you can see is we do have some curvature stuff going on, right? Yes. Okay. But here's the thing, Taylor. My business here isn't let's straighten out the spine and the patient feels fantastic. Yeah. Okay, that's not my job. My job is do we first have a level base and foundation, number one? Number two, do we have the right 60 degree reciprocating curves and do we have balance on the lateral x ray? Okay? okay, because on the AP x ray, you can have perfectly straight, healthy spines, mm -hmm. you can have perfectly healthy curved spines. Okay. But on the lateral, if we don't have the right curvature, like having a straight spine or this, if we have the right curve on this x-ray, but on the other there's deviation, I'm okay with that. That's the patient's norm. Okay. Okay. Sure. So we can see there's two factors going on there. Let's go back here and let's talk about this. And I'm going to give you a piece of the, or the major answer right now. You have a transitional vertebrae. Have you been taught, told that ever? I have, yes. So you know you have the transition. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they told you you have uh, six lumbars or six pseudo instead of five. Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of your instability is. So you have been told that. I have not been told that's where the instability is, just about that that extra um, is there. Okay. Yeah. So it's not that it's an extra. Right? Okay. Okay, so let's explain that. What, yeah. What's a transition vertebrae? Because you're gonna, people are going to Google this and be like transition vertebrae. In the population, typically, or, or let's just say we normally have five lumbars. Mm -hmm. About 10% of the population has either four lumbars that move or six lumbars that move. Okay. And what does that mean? The one that has four lumbars, that transitional vertebrae is... The L5, the lowest lumbar, has taken on the characteristic of the sacrum, and it fuses to the sacrum. Okay. Okay. That person needs more flexibility. Okay. Okay. Got it. Then, conversely, there are some people who wear the S1 tubercle. These are five individual bones that ossify about 32 to 34. Okay. So if we, in that population, the first sacral segment or the first sacral tubercle takes on the characteristic of a lumbar, and that person has six lumbars, or six, a six pseudo lumbar. Okay. Now, if we look at your side here, this is what I need to really figure out with you. So if you look here, you can see this characteristic, yes? Yes. And it's almost trying to form these transverse processes here. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but that's not the fix, by the way. Yeah. But it tells us a couple of things. Part of your curvature is because of that. So that's not all going to be corrected. Okay. I want. Because if we look closer, we can see the way the sacrum or this transition has happened. It's thicker and higher here, lower here, but it's still fused to the sacrum so we're not really going to get that movement as such we okay. may get a little bit of movement okay but i don't see that i'm going to straighten out your sacrum with a transitional vertebrae okay we're going to stabilize it that's the key that sounds good okay and how are we going to stabilize it the first thing i see here is down low let's look at the numbers because even looking at your numbers you don't have a lot of misalignment dude at least it doesn't appear on the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a one millimeter rotated sacrum on the right. We have two millimeter rotated sacrum uh, pelvis on the left. But here's where I do see part of the answer. You see how the right sacrum or the right transition has done what? It's dropped four millimeters on the right side. Okay. And if we look at your... Interesting. 
If we look at your uh, leg length, we have a slight leg length inequality. It's sh slightly shorter on the right side, yes? Yes. Four millimeters comes from right there. Okay. And that's definitely what it, fe it feels like my left leg is like. Right leg is shorter. Yes. Okay. But the left leg is like the one that's constantly picking me up. Correct, longer, because, yeah. correct, so you're swinging that right leg. Right. You're not stepping through it. So I'm pretty sure that wear pattern is also on the back right heel. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense. But here's what I see, okay? I see that we're going to be working right there. Why is that? That's what I see as where this tilt is coming from, from your tailbone injuries. Okay. So this is down low. This is S4, S5. And where I'm probably going to start is going to be down low, low in the tailbone and try to get that sacrum up because I'm not fixing that. But if I can get that sacrum up, even two millimeters, everything changes. Even one millimeter, mechanics, everything changes. Sure. Okay. All right, let's continue. Does that make sense, sir? It does, yes. Hip sockets are good. We do have some digestion issues going on here. Um, this is the Megan Blasi. This should be a big half black circle. This is what we call the permeated moth appearance. We have a lot of undigested food in the ascending colon, goes to the transverse. When it hits the descending colon, we're getting a lot of gas being produced. Uh, it is what it is. And the control of that neurologically starts in this area here. So once foundation is stabilized, Now you can see that better. Then L5 needs to be sorted out because L5 is also contributing to this kink here. Your discs are good there, though. I like what I see there. That's good to hear. No, your discs are good there. So you're clear on this part, this upper body, these shoulders, all this stuff is working overtime. Yes. So sitting long periods of time creates a little bit of tension or an easiness in that in the shoulder area here's what I want to show you here so you can see this is your tailbone here okay mm -hmm. you can see this one is trying to take on that characteristic of that lumbar your L5 disc is fantastic it's nice it's healthy you can see all this is compensation here yes yes okay you can see all compensation it goes compensates all the way to here dude that's the next one that levels off. So let's count which one that is. So basically, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 7 comes back to level, 6 goes off. So everything from here, everything from T7, from here to here is all compensating. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay working down here. Okay. I'm okay working on the six up here. Okay. Okay. Up here, we'll see what we find. Okay. But what we're trying to do is this. Bring your belly button in and up. This is your posture, bro. That hasn't felt like that for a while. Okay, but that's, that's where we need to get to. Yeah. Okay, so if we can get there this week, fantastic. Cool. And your job is to hold it. Sounds good. Stand Thank up you. over here, please. Questions on that? Is that clear? Yes, very clear. Okay, I appreciate Stand it. Stand over here, please. Let's walk. All right. You're going to walk several times back and forth. Okay. And you can see him swing the leg now when he walks. It's so subtle. But because of that short leg, you're pronating now to compensate the right, the right is foot. That pron is that where it goes? doing this. Yeah. yeah. Now you can see. We got the Pensacola wiggle. Good. <laughs> Turn around, walk on your heels. And that pronation, you're starting to get a pseudo bunion on the right toes side. Up. Toes up, please. Okay. Yeah. That right side joint's not moving. Okay, I got it. Come over here, please. Have a seat. We look at the overall posture. This is your normal sit, sir. Sit whatever's comfortable. This is my normal. Okay, so you can see there's more swelling here on this side than there is on this side. You can see that curvature there now. So this is all swelling in through here. 
This dips in, this should hold, things should be coming back. It shouldn't be dipping. He's got two dishes or dips in his thoracic spine. When we look here, we can see these are off, left shoulders higher, right shoulders lower. Starting at the base of the neck, let's see what we got. Head down, sir. So this is a little misleading when you look at it. It looks like it's gonna be a 10 point break, but then it doesn't stop. It goes to the right, but then it doesn't break. It's just heat off the hair. So we're gonna wait on that upper neck right now. T6, T7, left side. It's about nine points. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. There it is. S4, S5, seven points. <clears throat> That's actually 15 points. I can't justify the neck today. Okay. We'll see what have, what comes up along the way. Head down, sir. Static palpation. And the purpose of static palpation is just to find swelling, edema, point tenderness, different tissue changes. Because when we have subluxation or misalignment causing nerve pressure, we have all these other things going on with it. And you can see right there, the changes starts to change up here, but it's more pronounced as I get to there. And then as soon as I go past it, gets a little better, gets better, better. Picks up again the swelling on the right, orange peel. You can see it go all the way into the sacrum right there. Got it. And just from static palpation, Tender there mm -hmm. or there? No, that's that the second one hurt. Tender on the first, yeah. That's sharp. Yeah. Not as bad there. Nothing. Right there. Yeah. Head down, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. That one's six. Yeah. That one's seven. Six. 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 Check down low. So far, so good. So far, so good. Cool. Feet together. Open and close the knees. Open and close. <clears throat> right side only, please. So when he does the right, you can see the left shifts with it. Do a left side only. When he does the left, the whole right shifts as well. So they're both kind of stuck. Okay, we're not starting up there anyway. Let's go back slowly. Tender. A little bit. Okay. This is L5, okay? Okay. This is that L6 or the transition. Tender a little bit. Yeah, like that didn't move as much. I mean like. It's not moving. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's S2. That's S3. This is where I'm feeling. Ah, oh. Yeah, that hurts. Ah, whoa! <laughs> S4. So, T7. One, two, three, four, T7 we're setting as a PLS, and S4 we're setting as just straight P, counterclockwise up to help the dropped sacrum on the right side. So PLS, what the hell is a PLS? A PLS is a static listing of the vertebrae posterior left superior. It is the static malposition, and so the correction is going in the exact opposite directions. That one or that one? That one's the one. 
and you can feel it. So we're going to get all that tissue out of the way. We're going to get right on that spinous, and we want to come through the joint, and it's going to left. We want to do what? Want to torque it and close it, right? Uh, this uh, way. Uh, That's the home run, baby. You okay there? Mm-hmm. Cool. A little spicy. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Five. Ah, let's call it Lifeline Ruby. Ugh. We got to torque it up. You got him? You sure? Yes, sir. And that's the home run. Thank you. You ready to come up? Mm hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Walk about three times back and forth. Face is okay? Yeah, face is good. All right. That right at side joint's moving a little bit now. If as soon as you, that first push where, where it gave you that first little bit, yeah. like I felt like something opened up. Yeah, I and I didn't even, I just put pressure on it. Yeah. Walk, keep walking. That's so cool. Good. It feels weird. What? Well, feels weird like to my, walk? Well, like moving my right leg. It doesn't feel like it's like... It's not it's dragging like now. on autopilot, you know? Now take a bigger step with your right foot. Okay. Small step, big step with your right. Big step. Do it again. Big step with the right. Small step. Big step. Small step. Big step. Small step. But don't shuffle like this. Watch. I'll do it from here. So, big step, small step, big step, small step, big step, small step. Because this is going to be part of your homework. Okay. Tell us what's different as you're walking. I f the biggest difference is I feel like I'm moving my right leg. Like you're, you're not talking dragging about it. That swing, yeah, I, don't, I feel like I'm picking it up and putting it down. Walk on your toes, you'll see more, you'll feel it better. That I can like feel that one that that right side like I can feel that before it just felt like not like nothing and I almost couldn't feel it. Mm -hmm. Now it's like I feel like there's I'm sitting into it when I walk. Walk on your heels, please. That should yeah. That's a weird one. You're smoother. You're not choppy. Mm -hmm. Walk again one more time. And I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over this time. Great. Back over here. Have a seat. Let's continue. T6S4. Starting at the base. There it is. It is tricky, guys. So as I'm running it, I'm looking for the break. It goes left. There it is. 10 points, C6, C7. Mid back is clear. <clears throat> 10, 12, 15,000 steps a day is your homework, sir. Sounds good. Get to the water if you'd like, get in the ocean, all good. Swimming, hiking, walking. No gym while you're here, please. All right, no worries. Great. All clear. Check it out. Back slowly towards me. L5, S1, or the L6, S2, S3. That's the four. <laughs> that feels good. Voila. Voila! Awesome. Good. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of that neck just to get it started, okay? Sit back for me, please. Tiny bit of six. Look up. That's enough. 
walk it off one last time and come back, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go on your back and work on your feet. Okay. Raise your right leg. And down. Raise your left leg. Now you get the buff and polish, sir. All right. Right shoulder, ears. Relax it. There you go. Nice. Walk it off one more time or two more times. And you said it went from right to left before we started. What are you feeling now? You were saying right ankle, right knee, left hip, all that stuff. I'm still, the, where I'm feeling it, like the left hip, the right ankle, it's, on, it's in the knee a little bit. Okay. But those two are, they feel good. Good. Yeah. Okay. The knee just feels a little tight almost. Sure. Stiff. Where you're at, do you have access to a bicycle? Mm -hmm. Pedal backwards five, ten minutes a day. That's okay. it. I don't want to be messing with the knee on the short. Just get leg. the extension through it? Just get extension, reverse, no resistance. Okay. What that does, it helps set the cue angle, okay, and helps reset that tracking of the patella. Okay. Okay. And it's not working. We're not trying to work the muscle with that. Yeah. Okay. Let's check the hands, sir. Okay. Good stuff. Squeeze. 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 Elbow. Just a posterior radial head. There you go. Posterior distal ulna. You a mouse guy? Trackpad. Trackpad. Get a mouse. But type a lot. Get a mouse. Get a mouse. Get a mouse. Get a mouse. Okay. And a mouse pad. Okay. You're on a laptop? Yeah. There you go. Get what I need get the mighty mouse and get a trackpad, please. Okay. Just please. Good. Questions for today? Not today. Just yeah. a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Yeah, that's it. Welcome to the office. Thank you. <laughs>